All right, friends, you know what time it is. We are going to protect our investment and we're going to save money on packaging by using things we already have around the house, okay? I want to start with these temptations. These are the kitty cat treats. I simply stuck a one pound bag of rice in there just to show you. You know, there's a lot more room. You probably can get two pounds in this container, but when I do that with these, I put plastic wrap over the top, usually press and seal, put the lid back on, and then tape it shut because you have this little flap to contend with here, okay? That's going to let air, critters, all kinds of things in there, so you really need to get that taped up, and I recommend duct tape for that. So, these are also good for leftovers. Don't microwave in them or anything like that, but they're great storage containers. So that's what we're doing with the Temptations. We have two things of pinto beans here. This was a spaghetti sauce jar, and this was an artichoke jar. We have a three-pound, this was a three-pound Skippy container, and I was able to fit a two-pound um, container of rice in it. I squished it in there. It's in there tight. It has an oxygen absorber also, but uh, none of this is going to go bad in here. I put this here just to show you. We have another 48 ounce empty container here, and what I'm going to do is clean it out completely, fill it with rice, tape it shut, and call it a day, and then we'll have some rice storage. That's why I have this bag of rice here to show you. Also, we use this uh, marinara container, and we have some lentils, because I had uh, three pounds of lentils, actually. And between these two containers, I was able to get the three pounds in, and this one's just a little shy. But this one's filled completely. And by the way, I figured out how to get the smell completely out of the pickle jar. I thoroughly scoured them, and I left them outside all winter long. There is not one single smell of dill or garlic, nothing like that in these containers. So just leave them outside if you have the time because it is going to take the smell away. This olive container here, Mount Olive, this is white hominy and it does have an ox. You can see it has an oxygen absorber in there. This is one pound of white hominy. In this container. This is a craft container. It was mayonnaise. Um, again, I left this out all winter in the smell because mayonnaise containers for some reason are so hard to get the smell out of, but this one was beautiful. We've got two pounds of yellow hominy inside here. Now people pr are probably going to ask, what do you use hominy for? The white hominy, you can make a delicious hominy pudding, kind of like rice pudding, but you're making it with the white hominy, absolutely delicious. And the yellow hominy, you can use that in soups and stews and all kinds of different things. So anyway, so there you go. This is the repackaging I'm working on today. I hope you all are continuing to stock your pantries and most importantly, protecting the foods that you bring into it because it does us absolutely no good just to have bags of stuff laying around that critters could get into. You know what I'm talking about here. So please do yourself a favor. If you can afford the brand new packaging, awesome. If not, there are ways to package, and I want to let you know that all but two, this one and this one, every single other container we got from friends because we ask our friends to save all their glass jars, and they are happy to do it. All right, friends, keep stacking it. Give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe, and we're going to be talking to you really soon. God bless you.